and the start can be right now, today, wherever you're at. Don't give up, don't give in, keep going, you got this. Just learning from 2020, I feel like, you know, just take every day like it's your last. What's up, everybody? This is Authentically. I'm your host, Charlie, and thank you for tuning in to this episode, whether you're watching on YouTube, whether you're listening through Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts from in the world. What's up? How are you doing today? You doing, doing good? Man, I'm ready for this one. This one's involving the purple and gold, man. Are you ready? That's the real question. Yeah, I know you are. Pop on this journey with me. Cause I fly from state to state, coast to coast, jet set, via Zoom, of course. To different teams, different players, different perspectives. From Detroit to Minnesota to Brooklyn to LA to Chicago, Chi-Town, what's up? To New York to Portland. So here's to this journey and lessons to be learned from NBA players and coaches. You know what time it is? It's about that time for tip-off. Here's the tip-off. Are you ready? Cause I am. Let's go! If this is your first time listening, welcome. Glad to have you aboard. Uh, I got that Space Jam Welcome shirt on, to the you know, space it's a, jam. in a galaxy far, far away. Just kidding, it's coming to you right wherever you are. And I'm excited to watch Space Jam 2 with my lovely bride Amber J. This episode is dedicated to her. You will hear why in a second. And basically, I started this podcast because there's a world full of facades and fakes, and uh, there's just a world full of negativity, and just hoping to um, bring real conversations, authentic conversations to the table, um, different perspectives, maybe different viewpoints that you might think of, and hopefully everyone can come together and actually listen, what we're supposed to be doing, and, and learn something and grow through it, right? And specifically, this is an NBA mini series started up just talking to different NBA players and coaches around the league. Um, this one in particular is LA, talking to the Lakers and telling Horton Tucker. And so it's going around talking to different teams, different players, different coaches, because obviously they were at the forefront of what was a crazy, unprecedented season last year. And so, yeah, it's been really interesting to hear the perspective. I hope you've enjoyed the series so far, uh, halfway through it. So we still got a few more left to go. This next one, super excited about because it's involving my wife's hometown team. My wife being from LA, we have a friendly rivalry, you could say, in our home, as of course, I always rep Detroit and constantly bring up those 04 Pistons beating those Lakers with four shoe and Hall of Famers on that squad. Kobe, my God, continually be with his family and loved ones, giving them utmost peace only Jesus can give. And then Shaq, Carl Malone, Gary Payton. The Detroit Pistons have just shocked the Los Angeles Lakers. 187 to win the NBA title. Yeah, lately those Lakers have gotten the better of the Pistons in recent years, so she's had bragging rights. That's right, Amber J, you got bragging rights for now. Wait till this season, man. We got the number one pick. That's all I'm saying. You know, we got a good system in place. Uh, development, uh, restoration. I think we're gonna be in good standing. So you got this for now, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Hey, we're back. We'll see you all. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna take you to the game. 
you are the root for her home team. That's right. Because she was the not live. Oh, that's true. That's true. I got you. I got you. I got you. We got Chandy C. Can we show them the seats? Let's show them the seats. Look what she got me for my birthday. Defense. And the Lakers Defense. are winning. That's right. Not to mention, who got one of the latest titles? LA. The LA Lakers are now going through some, as Tupac would put it, changes. When the whole world seemed to change its regular routine in 2020, including the NBA, and where the season tipped back this off in Disney World, the players, NBA coaches, teams, and Disney staff in a bubble, Angeles the Lakers, Lakers came out of all of that unprecedented season as champions. Now, fast Raptors. forward to 2021, their roster shifted dramatically, where social media has had a heyday comparing the team to exactly that, those 04 Lakers, that 04 Lakers team who was stacked. Fittingly, with Space Jam 2 out now, got to rep that Space Jam, one of my favorite movies of all time, so I'm happy to see it. LeBron's got a new look crew with the likes of Russell Westbrook, Dwight Howard back, Trevor Ariza, and one of his day ones since entering the league, getting drafted the same year, of course, Carmelo Anthony. These dudes are ready to ball out come next season. Yet one of the few Lakers left standing, who obviously the team wanted to keep around with this squad, is Taylor Horton Tucker. Now for all you basketball aficionados out there, you have to know THT. Specifically this game where he hit that game winner. Here's Horton Tucker, three-pointer on its way. It's good! Taylor Horton Tucker! The Lakers have the lead now! And how he's been a constant in the rotation lately, able to get buckets and be a team player. I talked to Taylor about the very subject matter at hand for this series. What he learned from what was a crazy 2020 leading into this year and how he's going to implement what he's learned moving forward. Because even though the Lakers were riding that high of winning the title, they had so much adversity to get through just like everyone else last year to even get to that point and still have faced some after an early exit in this year's playoffs. But even deeper than that, it's what's off the court in life, what's bigger than basketball that matters. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen out of Iowa State via Chi-Town, Chicago, give it up. It's Taylor Horton Tucker. Hey, Taylor, now this one's more off the court related. I know that it's officially the end of Black History Month now, but what's your hope and maybe some of the lessons you learned from 2020 and the social injustice issues to keep the conversation, you know, moving forward when it comes to social injustice, whether that be on the court or off the court, and some of the lessons you learned to apply moving forward as well, Taylor. Uh, I feel like, you know, just learning from 2020, uh, I feel like, you know, just take every day like it's your last is what I, you know, kind of got from it because you never know what's going to happen. So um, just with everything else, I feel like, you know, we just got to continue to fight and keep pushing to the place where we want to go, where it's a ch chance for us to get, you know, equality in the world. So just being able to, to have that would be good. Taylor hosted his first basketball camp in his hometown of Chi-Town as he posted about it, realizing that it is bigger than himself. Exactly. As he said on IG, being able to take it back to where it all started and show the kids that their dreams are achievable is something I'll always hold close. I appreciate everyone who came out and supported. This is just the start of many more to come. And on the court, coming back for another year with LeBron and company, Taylor is ready to get back to work with the Lake Show. He's staying ready, saying on IG, if you want to go somewhere you've never been before, you got to do some things you've never done. Now, everyone, go have yourself a monumental day, going to places you've never been before, chasing your dreams, carrying out the lessons you learned from last year, carrying into this year, and finding ways to impact others. This has been another episode of Authentically. And from LA to Brooklyn, to Chi-Town, to Charlotte, excited to continue this journey with you, talking to different NBA players and coaches around the league as we all seek to listen, to understand, to learn, to grow, to hopefully get better as a society. Peace. Next episode, coming soon. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe, you know, the whole marketing deal. You know what's up. Uh, this is myself and my lovely wife's channel. 
that we're venturing back on. And we've got a lot more coming your way, adventures in Europe, uh, trying a Michelin star restaurant, a lot of different things, a lot of different adventures. So if you want to join our journey and hopefully be encouraged in this world that's full of facades and fakes and negativity, our hope is just to, you know, provide a little bit of hope. And we know who's got the hope and who's got the light is Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? So um, in light of, you know, staying with the team in the midst of adversity and coming out of it stronger, may you have an adversity conquering type day, knowing that whatever comes your way, you already have the tools within you to overcome it. Amber and I, we believe in you. We know you can do it. You know, we know you can keep going. So stay the course, young man. You got this. Don't ever give up. When the going gets tough, no, you got your squad, you know what I'm saying? You have different people in your life. You got your bugs, you got your Taz, you got your crew, right? Whether that be your family or your boo, you know what I'm saying? I got, thank God I got my Lola Bunny and Amber J. Yay! I'm really hyped to watch this movie. If you can't already tell, Space Jam 2, you know what's up. And, you know, sometimes if, you know, Amber takes me to outer space all the time, you know, I'm married, I can say that now, thank God. And so when it comes to, you know, feeling like sometimes, it, you know, it's just out of this world, right? It's out of your control. Well, guess what? We know the one who's in control of it all. And whatever space you find yourself in today, your head space, physically your, your space, and you just want to get out of that space into another job maybe or into um, the relationship you've always wanted or, you know, into, uh, you know, finding new friends, whatever space you're in. Let me tell you a little something about life. And my life, at least from what I've experienced, Hopefully I can encourage you guys and tell you that, you know, at the end of the day, the one who holds the space, who has your future space in, 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 in mind, your future space in heart, his name is Jesus Christ. So let's trust him from the start. And the start can be right now, today, wherever you're at. Don't give up. Don't give in. Keep going. You got this. I believe in you. You can do this. Let's go. Let go. Let God. Let's go. Woo! Welcome to the Space Jam. Throw your hands in the air with the space jam. All right, all right. If you had you need, you will be really fine. Come on, let's take it into overtime. Welcome to the space jam. Throw your hands in the air from the space jam. All right, all right, yeah. Come on and slam. And welcome to the... Um, Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. What? Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. What? Come on and slam, if you want a jam. <laughs> I'm just being silly now. Space Jam, whatever squad you have, you know, there's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Keep your squad. I've learned to keep your circle small. You know, love all, trust few type of thing. You know what I'm saying? But you can trust God and he's got your back. I've been betrayed before. I've been hurt before. But I'm not dwelling on that. That's in the past. This is now. I'm focusing on the present, y'all. So let's focus on the present together because my wife is a present and this episode is dedicated to her. And Space Jam. Boom. So jam on your haters with love. And have an amazing, blessed day. As we say with Amber J, I love you, baby. A hey, episode dedicated to you, Amber J. I love you. Let go, let God, let's go. Hey, drop the mic. Oh, but you know I gotta catch it. That's it. Hope you enjoyed this, Amber J. You know that's that little hybrid. That's for you, baby. I'm your hybrid man. But I love you, and uh, you know, just know you're loved by Jesus today. You know, Amber. Now we love you. Uh, Jesus loves you, and know that you can accomplish anything you set your mind to because you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you, right? Trust in the Lord, he'll give you the desires of our heart. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he'll give you the desires of your heart. And but Jay, as much as I'm a Detroit Pistons fan, I dedicate this episode to you, love. The Lake Show, LA. Hey, you, you're, the, you're that wavy, Mrs. Wavy Lab. Mrs. 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 Wavy Amber J. Lab, baby. I'm so grateful to, you know, ride your waves every day, baby. I'm this Midwesterner coming from the snow, but amazing Michigan Falls in summers and springs. Uh, just gotta get past those three months like those three months in the Arizona summer heat. You know, I dedicate this episode to you, baby. You're my LA queen. May you have a wonderful day, baby. LA all day. I, I said I would do this if I'm doing this Lakers episode, so here we go. With how you do it? LA all day. That's only for Amber J. Now I gotta get back to the now I gotta get back to more episodes. 
so I can represent and do more episodes that's not Laker related. But seriously, um, props to the Lakers, props to THT. Thank you for that time. Thank you for your time, Tim Horton Tucker. All the best to you this season. It's amazing what you're doing in the community, man. And yeah, LeBron, have a good season too. Keep making Space Jam films. Keep doing your thing. You know, excited to see the Lakers play the Pistons. Uh, you know, I'll be rooting for you because, you know, my wife is from L.A. But other, other than that, if you guys play the Pistons, you know how I'm rooting for them. Detroit versus everybody. Let go, let God, let's go.